so that I guess that's the the what you said kind of describes Georgia progress because she has progressed the whole entire time I've had her. She's not had um you know she came to us with a hurt shoulder from gymnastics. She wasn't able to do that anymore. So she's been healthy. You know she's been uh, nothing but getting better every week in the jumps and the hurdles everything and she's got a an amazing work ethic uh she you know when we open the gym in this or the weight room in the summer she's here uh she's here on holidays you know just putting in all the extra time georgia just tell me a little bit about how you feel like you have progressed in track and field and how the it has uh maybe how gymnastics maybe helped you mm -hmm. to uh, to go from that sport to, to track and field? Um, I think that with jumping, uh, for sure, like gymnastics helped a lot with like my triple jump and long jump because like on the vault, you're like pounding on the springboard and going over like that. And that's kind of like long jump and just like the tumbling helped my legs like be able to bound for triple. And so that especially like Helped me my sophomore year just to be like thrown into triple jump at the indoor state and be able to get a runner up in that and with hurdles just my flexibility of like the leaps and stuff that we do I feel like going over hurdles kind of like a leap and so that came naturally to me and just like sprinting down the vault runway has helped me in the hundred hurdles um, and I've gotten a lot better at that especially last year um, being able to take my time from a 15.8 sophomore year to a 15.07 just in one season was huge. And I think a lot of it came from my background in gymnastics. Uh, talk about what she was able to do at Indoor State and just, just uh, with so many events and, and contributing uh, to help you guys win a state championship. Yeah, that was an amazing day. I mean, the fact that she won the long jump that day, that's kind of was like, okay, wow, this, she's, she's gonna be good. Well, and then you, you apparently talked her into the 4 by 4 so obviously yeah. you do a good job as a coach talking them uh, into it. Yeah, well, well, I knew it was going to be so close, and going into it, they uh, that app was down or something, I believe. I can't remember exactly, so we were all kind of keeping score by hand. And so when they, we had, we had thought we were really, we were actually closer than that, but uh, your what's announced that we were five points up. So at that point, I just told her, hey, I just need you to be behind with Bentonville, just right there with them. You don't have to beat them, be right there with them, right behind them, just get the stick around, don't drop it. You know, so I think she was a little nervous because that was her first 400 to race, but she, she, she dropped like a 64, I think. So it, it whatever we needed, she did it. 